Hey guys, what's up? This is Jason, and I'm here to tell you exactly how to max out your exosuit and survive any sentinel attack. So, you definitely want to pay attention to this. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is your your general suit inventory, if you look in here, my general suit inventory is maxed out at 48 slots. So, 48 slots is the best you could do for your general inventory. Now, if you go to technology, you can get 14. That's the most you can get right now in the next update. So what I recommend is when you first start out, max out your exosuit general inventory. Because you could put anything in here. You could pick up items, you can create craft stuff, and you could also put technology. And I did not realize that until about halfway through my game. And so this is like the the, the first one you really want to max out. Then I would definitely max out your technology slots because you can only put technology. You can't put items, you can't store any items in here. You can only uh, insert technology into these ones. And then, the last one I would say is do your high capacity. The fastest way to do that is to go to every space station you can and just buy a new slot. Warp to every like near system you can. Just go there, go to the space station, buy the slot, warp to another uh, system, buy the slot, warp to another system, buy the... That's the most expensive way to do it. It's the fastest way but it gets to a point when it costs a million units just for one slot. And so it's going to cost you a lot of units if you do it that way. The other way is to find drop pods, and they're all over all the planets. So that's how many slots you max out at. You remember, guys, it's, your general inventory is 48, your technology is 14, and your high capacity is 48 as well. Now the secret is, you see how these... S-Class movement upgrades are all yellow. They have a yellow outline around them. When you place technologies together, like if they're touching, they give each other a little bit of a bump. So you want to do that. The problem is you can only have three touching. Three of the same class, I should say. So if you have S-Class upgrades, you can only have three of them touching at a time, and then they overdo it. It overloads the system, and you won't be able to put any more on there, which kind of sucks. So if you see that, yeah, there you go, boom, outline on that. So you want to try to put them right next to each other. I don't know what the star seed actually, like, combines with. I know that once you finish the atlas seeds, you get the star seed, and that means you can go through a black hole and not get any damage at all. Because in general, if you just find a black hole and you go through it and you don't have the star seed, it damages your starship. Like something, one technology on your starship will break. And it's not, it's not gone forever, you just have to fix it every time you go through a black hole. Once you get the star seed, you're good to go. You can go through as many black holes as you want, and nothing will break. You're good to go. So I don't know what that pairs with, so I just have it out here in the middle of nowhere. Same thing with the hazmat gauntlet. You need that to pick up uh, hazardous flora, like the poison plants and stuff. But, I mean, it doesn't combine with anything as far as I know. If you guys know... Comment down below and let me know. Tell me about it. So you see, I've done that in my general inventory. Superheated rainstorm, great. You see, I've done that in my general inventory. So this is what I started out. Or actually, I started out with my my technology, and I just put it in there thinking that was it. You could put that, you could double it up. And what I mean by that is, you see, like right here, I have my life support upgrades I have S upgrades for my life support right here. I have three of them maxed out right there. Boom, boom, boom. And then I also have three right here. Boom, boom, boom. And this I put them next to my life support, so it gives my life support an extra up bump. I don't know if it's magnified by the number. Like, if yeah, I have four of them that are that are uh, next to each other. I don't know if that's better than three. But I, do, I just try to keep it all together so I get the most bump I can, the most increase I can. But you could double it up. So I could have three here and three on my technology. So that's what I did. I mean, I literally went through on my shield. I buffed up my shield three in my technology and then three in my general. This is the secret, guys. I'm telling you guys. Because everything you do is, mag is basically double what you would think you would get. My jetpack lasts forever now. My shields are amazing now. Because I've doubled it. Whatever I thought I had, I doubled it. Same thing for my life support. I could run. Look at this. I could run forever. Look at it. I've been sitting in a rainstorm forever and nothing's going on. 
I can run for days now. Look at my, my meter's not even going down yet. And I'm running. There he goes. It's starting now. Look at my jetpack. For days, I could just run this thing. So that is the secret, guys. Double up your technology. Put it in your technology slots. Put it in your technology slots as much as you can. And you see right here, I have three S-class movement system upgrades. And then I have an A. And then I have a B. I think you could put two A's there if you have two A's. You can only It maxes out at three per class. And that is a secret. If you want to just fill this whole technology uh, slots with all rocket boots and uh, movement stuff, you can. You just have to make sure it's not all S. Like you could do three S's, three A's, three B's, and three C's if you'd like. I don't know why you would want to do that because I'm trying to keep mine balanced. But and I mean, it's just it seems like overkill after a certain point because I mean my my jetpack lasts forever right now. And then my shields are insane. Let's find a, um, let's get a guy to come over here. So look at this, you guys. Combat scope. I'm just going to start some trouble because I want to see how much damage I could take. I want to show you guys. I know how much damage I could take. I want to show you guys. I just have six S-class upgrades. You'll see. I have three uh, shield upgrades right here, S-class. And I have three right here. So that's only six of them. Look, I don't even have to move, you guys. I'm just getting hammered. But my shield is so overdone. It's crazy. All right, suppression level four. This is the most I've ever seen. And look at this. Just let him hit me all day. Walker is not doing anything to me. And just take out those guys. Look at this. I can just sit here all day, not even move. Come on, man. Hit me. Nothing, you guys. And if you want to know the secret to taking out walkers, if you really want to take them out fast, hit their legs first. The bottom leg. Bottom leg. Then the upper legs. Upper legs. Then you want to take out the top of his head right here. Oop, let me reload. Top of his head. Boom. That'll piss him off a little bit. And just take out the centerpiece. And it's the easiest way to do it that I've found so far. But I mean, look at it. He's not doing any damage. I haven't even lost any health yet. I'm like, my shield is half down now. After killing all those guys. And just getting... Not even dodging. I'm literally just getting hit by the, the walker. Come on. Right there. And then, boom. Done. All right. That is, that's how easy it is, you guys. Seriously. So, it is so worth upgrading your shields. I mean, and for that matter, it's so worth having double upgrades simply for the fact that... Look at my my freaking jetpack. Look at I'm running. I could run for days without recharging my, uh, my life support. This is so... It's Everything is maxed out to where... And because I've maxed out all my slots... Look at this. I still have tons of room. Plus, I have a cargo capacity. This is why... I used my general inventory to upgrade my technology because there's so much room now. And I can just sit here for days and just take it. I can just take all that. Look at my shield's already recharged. I'm good to go now. I can use my jetpack for days, guys. So, hopefully, you guys l like the video. Hopefully, you guys love the over. I mean, just being OP. That's amazing to me. And No Man's Sky. This is the hardest I've seen it get so far. I don't know if you guys have seen a. Suppression level 5? I've only seen 4. And so if 4 is as hard as it gets, then this game is easy once you get your technology boosted up like that. So hopefully you guys like it. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, I'm going to have other tip videos. I do have them already up, but I'm going to be posting about the starships, and I'm going to be posting about 
the um, multi-tool as well, guys. So hopefully you guys are interested in that. If you did, subscribe to the channel. And those videos should be up shortly. So I will see you guys next time.